Earlier this week, the New York Rangers surprised everyone when they announced that Jacob Truba would be their next captain, the 28th captain in Rangers history. Many people believe that the two main frontrunners were Chris Kreider, who had been with the Blue Shirts since the 2011-2012 season, and Mika Zibanejad, who has been with them since the 2016-17 season. But it is Truba who will get to wear the big C. Truba has only been with the Rangers for three seasons, and has had many controversial on-ice plays, but he plays a style that Chris Drury and company obviously want to emulate in the rest of the team. Truba has also shown leadership off the ice, showing support for Black Lives Matter, and Luke Prokop, who was the first player signed to an NHL contract to come out as gay. So no wonder management would see Truba as a suitable leader. With the Rangers naming Truba to fill their captain vacancy, that leaves just seven NHL teams without a captain heading into the 2022-23 NHL season. Those teams are the Flyers, Canadians, Ducks, Sabres, Flames, Coyotes, and Kraken. Today we will go over my seven candidates that I can see filling those roles next. Let's start off with the Philadelphia Flyers, who last had a captain last season until they traded away Claude Giroux at the deadline. To me, this is a no-brainer, and it's Sean Couturier. Couturier has played his entire 721-game NHL career with the Flyers thus far, starting out in the 2011-12 season. The only current Flyer to be a Flyer earlier was James Van Riemsdyk, who was on the team in the 09-10 season, but also played six seasons with the Maple Leafs from 2012 to 2018 before turning to the Flyers. Couturier is seen as one of the league's best defensive forwards and is good for a minimum of 60 points in a full season. He's a true elite number two center on a cup contending team, but will be a number one center for Philadelphia this coming year. Couturier is signed for eight more years at a cap hit of 7.75 million per year. Next up is the Montreal Canadiens, who have not had a captain since trading away Shea Weber earlier this off season. Weber was still technically their captain last season, but would not play another game due to injury. The Canadiens' vacancy is another no-brainer, and it has to be Brendan Gallagher. He has been with the Canadiens for his entire 638-game NHL career, and he started out in the 2012-13 season, which makes him the longest-tenured Canadian besides Carey Price. Gallagher wears his heart on his sleeve and sacrifices everything to be a better hockey player. Gallagher is signed for five more years with a cap hit of $6.5 million per year. Next up is the Anaheim Ducks, who have only been captainless since the end of this past season when longtime captain Ryan Getzlaff retired. I don't think the Ducks are in any rush to name a new captain, especially since they probably will not be a great team this coming year. So I wouldn't be surprised if someone younger like McTavish takes this honor a few years down the road, but my prediction for right now is Cam Fowler. Fowler is also the longest tenured Duck as he has spent his entire 811 game NHL career in Anaheim, first making the team in the 2010-2011 season. Fowler is signed for four more years at $6.5 million per season. Next, we have the Buffalo Sabres, who have been captainless since they stripped Eichel of his captaincy before last season. To me, there are only two candidates for the Sabres' current vacancy, and that is Rasmus Dahlin and Alex Tuck. Tuck has been amazing, but he has only been with the Sabres for half a season, so I'm going to go with the 2018 first overall pick, Rasmus Dahlin. Dahlin is obviously a tremendous skater and puck mover, and is coming off a season in which he scored 13 goals and 53 points. He is poised to have a breakout year soon, especially with the Sabres looking a lot more dangerous with the emergence of Tage Thompson and the addition of the aforementioned Tuck. Dahlin is only 22 years old and has already played in 277 games for the Sabres. He is signed to just two more years at $6 million per season, but will still be an RFA at the end of this contract. So Dahlin is likely to sign a very large contract after this bridge deal is over. By then, I expect him to definitely be captain. Next up is the Calgary Flames, who have been captainless since Mark Giordano was left unprotected and taken in the expansion draft by the Seattle Kraken. The Flames are in a state of turnover, as they have had departures of Kachuk and Goudreau, who both absolutely would have been considered for captain, and the arrival of Huberto and Weir, who could potentially get a look before the Flames make a decision. Chris Tanev is also a good candidate, as he has been shown to be tough as nails in many situations. To me though, current alternate captain Michael Backlund is the only choice. Backlund is just 33, yet he has been with the Flames since the 08-09 season. Not only is Backlund the only player still with the team, but besides Giordano, Backlund is the only player still playing hockey from that team. Backlund is signed for two more years with a cap hit of $5.35 million per season. Our second last team is the Arizona Coyotes who have been captainless since they traded away Oliver Ekman-Larsen in what has to be one of the strangest trades in modern day history. The Coyotes are bad, 
And maybe now is not the time to appoint someone as their official leader when the team is in such turmoil, but if they do, I can see Lawson Kraus being their guy. This might be seen as a bit of an off-the-board pick on a team that has Keller, Schmaltz, and Chikrin, but Lawson Kraus is definitely my pick. Kraus won the Coyotes' 2021-22 Man of the Year award in honor of the leadership he brings to his community. He also had a 20-goal season with the Coyotes this past year and is poised to take another step forward next year. Kraus has recently signed a 5-year extension with the Coyotes worth an average of $4.3 million per year. Another off-the-board pick for the Coyotes is Austin Matthews, who you know, but lastly, the Seattle Kraken. Like the Flames, the Kraken have also been captainless since the departure of Mark Giordano, but this time it was via trade, not expansion draft. The Kraken really are in no need of a captain heading into next season, so I am making this prediction on who might be captain, say, one or two years from now. And I know his leadership has been called into question by scouts, but I'm going with Shane Wright, who is the captain of the Kingston Frontenacs. In fact, when Wright was 15, he was granted exceptional status and allowed to play in the OHL as an underager. But during the season, the team actually made him an assistant captain, making Wright the youngest player to be a captain in CHL history. Wright has also been captain of Team Canada teams as the youngest player on the roster. I think Wright will prove to make a lot of people look silly for dunking on his pseudo lack of leadership skills and would be an excellent captain for the Seattle Kraken somewhere down the line. Who do you think should be the next captain of these NHL teams? That's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, it would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching, take care everyone.